Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I'm your host, Bill Miller. Today we are doing a comic book haul of 50 cent issues that I got from a comic book shop about an hour away from my house. Um, some of them, the first few, are in fairly high grade, but the rest of them are low to mid grade. So, let's get to showing and telling. Uh, first, we have Justice League number eight. And this is the A cover from 2012. The cover is by Jim Lee. And we have the first appearance of the Marvel family prior to them receiving their powers. Sticking with the Justice League, we have number 24. Cover by Ivan Reyes. And this features the origin of Ultraman. We follow that up with number 25, a Reyes cover as well, and this issue features the origin of Owl Man. And the origin of the clever people that named him. Number 27 of the Justice League. Art and cover by Ivan Reyes. This is the debut of Cyborg's new costume with weaponry upgrades. And last in this little mini Justice League run is number 29. And this has art by Doug Mankey and features the reintroduction of the Metal Men. Shout out to Metarog on that one. Korak, Son of Tarzan, number 54. From 1973, written by Robert Conagher, art by Murphy Anderson, and the cover by Joe Kubert. And then I can't go but a few halls without some Punisher. This one, number eight. From 1988, written by Mike Barron, an art and cover by Wills Portacio and Scott Williams. And we have Punisher number 21 from 1989, covered by Eric Larson of Savage Dragon fame and Scott Williams. And Punisher number 31, from 1990, written by Mike Barron, covered by Bill Reinhold. We have Steel, number two, The Indestructible Man, from 1978, covered by Don Heck and Al Milgram. Steel number three, written by Jerry Conway, art and cover, Don Heck. And we have Adventures on the Planet of the Apes, number five. This is from 1976, and it, of course, is a movie adaptation. The cover is by Rich Buckler and Klaus Janssen. And lastly, we have the Bone Holiday Special from 1993. This was a Hero Magazine giveaway, and it features a Jeff Smith, who is the creator of Bone, an interview with Jeff Smith. And that will do it for the books that we have today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed showing them to you. 
If you did enjoy it, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are released. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.